good. All right. Enough messing around. Mike S. Miller, Blanklist Universe. Look at this giant box. It's a giant box. There's tape on it. Lots and lots of tape. It appears to have been secured. Nothing appears to have escaped its contents. I don't want to cut the stuff actually in it, you know? Even more cardboard and paper. Alright, first of all, uh, this appears to be a patch. I did not think I was getting a patch. Didn't know anything about it. So that's a pleasant surprise. I like patches. If people are going to make um, these goodies, patches and stickers are the only ones that sort of do anything for me. Because at least I can sew a patch on a denim jacket, you know? And stickers I can stick on something. But trading cards just sit around until I throw them away. So. All right. We'll look at these individually. First of all, these have a puzzle on the back. So let's, I mean, it's not really a puzzle. It's just a putting them together in. No, that's, not, that's not really a puzzle. But I guess if I was going to put that in a collage or something, it'd be interesting to put them that way. Uh, it's Matthew Weldon. Drew this one. Gary Shipman. Kane and White. And John Malin. Interesting that they're all... These ones are all bluish. Bluish hue. That one's not... First of all, Mike S. Miller's Deal with the Devil. That'll be fun to read. Wonder who drew this? I, mean, I don't think Mike drew it. This is for a book he had done a while ago. Let's see who drew it. Art by Sherwin. Schwartz Rock. Looks serviceable for the theme. It's a, more of an action, not an action, a, a thriller cop type thing. Not bad printing. Little, uh, flimsier, I don't mean that in a negative way necessarily, than some of the books, like if you compared it to, I guess it's not that much, it's a little bit more floppy than Gunship Thunder Punch, a little bit harder stock, but that's not a big deal, I mean that's just a choice I guess. That's cool. It's a design choice. Six Gun Samurai. Mike also did not draw this one, uh, but he wrote it. And it is cool. I mean, looks like it might be a little bit thicker. 
then deal with the devil. I I like this that Mike's doing with issuing his back catalog of things that he owns. That would be cool to see if guys have those types of things, creator owned projects um, from the past that while they're doing crowdfunding for comics that haven't been created yet, they issue some of these in between. I think that'd be a good idea for guys to keep people intrigued and keep them coming back. Here we have Monster Hunt with the Elliot Fernandez cover. Kind of an old school Marvel looking cover. Pretty cool. I had to get this cover. The Gone with the Wind cover. I think this would make a good poster if someone was really into Lone Star. But uh, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool cover. And a neat idea. Not sure what made Mike think to do it, but I think it turned out pretty well. And now Gone with the Wind, super relevant, you know. Elliot Fernandez cover for the reprinted Lone Star number one, which is pretty cool. I don't mean not seeing the whole thing, but it's neat. You know, it, it's even got um, faux fake wear marks on it as if it really was an old comic. That's pretty cool. And the colors really, uh, really look pretty neat. Well, they did a great job on these. And then, of course, the Meg. About a giant shark. That shark book. So I finally got my shark book. But lots and lots of stuff here. If you guys haven't, you should look forward to Mike's next book, The Magnificent, Magnificent Seven. A comic about people saving the day at Trump's inaugural address. It's inauguration for his second term. So it's a, a glimpse into the future, what's going to happen next year. You can go to MAGA7.com to sign up for the mailing list. It's going to be on Indiegogo, I believe, this weekend, July 4th. Yeah, you should do that. All right. I might review some of these. We'll see. I have read the digital versions of the Lone Star books, and I have stuff to say about them. But I do want to wait until the third issue is released before I really talk about them. So I want to talk about them as a whole, but just on the surface, I will say I was, compared to other books that are coming out like this, the single issue, floppy, ongoing stories that people are doing, um, compared to some of the others, I think it is satisfactory. It's a, It feels like an, a complete experience. Still, my problem is you're waiting too long to get the next entry in the story, and um, it doesn't quite work for the crowdfunding, I think. It's not a monthly book, and so you're not keeping that interest up as much. And so you have to do a lot more work to keep people's interest up. So, all right. I'm gonna wait 30 more seconds so that this video is at least 10 minutes long because that used to matter on YouTube. I don't know if it still does. I wonder, hmm, hmm. So let's look through one of these. If I can get it out before the... Time is up. Mike is a very capable artist, and I think he 
where he excels is these action scenes. Um, really coherent action and movement going on. Sometimes I think he puts a little bit too much into the page. But hey, if he wants to render wicker chairs, that's on him. So, yep, this one has that bonus story at the end, the reprint. So, art by Matthew Weldon. Who's always interesting to look at, his art. All right, guys, that's enough of this. Explosion! Fly far!